children, my name's Ilyar2, and welcome to my Let's Play of EU4 with the Imperium Universalis mod. Yes, so, when the poll went out to see if you guys wanted to see Imperium Universalis or Extended Timeline, it was close. Um, extended Timeline won out, but... You guys were only two or three votes behind for Imperium Universalis, so I decided, hey, why not both, you know? So, this mod obviously changes a lot here. Um, ignore this for a second. It changes a lot because the provinces are different, the world is different. You have a much smaller world, I would say. But you have a ton of little guys out here. Look at this. Every single little tribe is out here, man. And there's a lot of open uh, pieces here. Note, this is a beta, so it's not the best right now. But um, you can look at stuff like religion. You have Celtic and Lusitanian and Iberian and Berber. Don't know why this is Berber. This shouldn't be Berber, I believe, right? Because Berbers were like an Arab, right? Something like that. Whatever. Uh, Germanics, uh, nothing up here. In fact, that's really no one lives up there. Uh, Germanics, you have Dicon, Dicon, Consentes, which is what the Romans worshipped. You have Olympoi, Olympioi, which is the Greek, so basically Hellenism. You have Thracian horsemen, uh, you have Scythian, Sarmatian. Um, Dysyov, you have the Kemet, which is the uh, Egyptians. And, uh, well, it goes all the way out to China with Taoism. The Four Immortals, which I have no idea what the hell that is. It, honestly, it's just, it's huge. It is a beta, though, so there are some glitches and bad things that go on. But who will we be playing as today? Well... Among uh, the important people, you have Rome, Carthage, Etruria, wait, Etruria, no. Samnites, and I have no idea who the hell these people even are. Who are they? Oh, all right. So those guys, these guys, these guys, Carthage, and Rome. Of course, Rome. But of course, I will not be playing as Rome. This mod greatly focuses on Rome and Greece over here. Now, there are many choices to be had. I will not be picking any of these five little guys. Instead, I will be picking Athenai. Yes, Athens. They are in the Greek tech group. They worship Olympioi. And in inside this tiny little land, we have 104 developments. Yeah. And as you can see, every single one of these little tiny provinces, they're all their own province. It is huge. So... Let's begin. Uh, normal mode, of course, we're not going to do Iron Man for whatever reason. Now, note, this is not in the latest update. This is the um, version beforehand. And th the mod just doesn't work with the um, current um, update. So you're gonna, if you want to play with this, you're going to have to pull back in the beta. But anyways, so this changes... Quite a bit. Um, I've actually never played as a Republic in this. If you saw before, I actually played as Kush um, for a test game just to see how this mod really works out. So a lot of this is kind of new to me. So we are, of course, a Republic, um, or really a democracy as it should be. That was a league, a union of cities or republics versus a Republic. Um, this actually seems pretty good. Accept a culture threshold, advisor cost, morale of armies. I have a higher, a larger army than well, I guess morale is pretty good too. What is this? Um, is see Democrats or oligarchs? When oligarchs are in power, our current ruler will continue to rule until his death. And when Democrats are in power, we will get new rulers elected every year, but no ruler can hold more than one term at a time. All right. So production efficiency, national tax, and stability costs versus land maintenance, regiment costs, and yearly Republican tradition. So I obviously want to stay high in the old Republic here, um, or democracy as it should be, because that's what Athens was known for, you know? And of course, there is our buddy Sparta over here, which is kind of, well, the opposite. I wouldn't say the opposite, but they are, they are a despotic monarchy. Um, they are warlike. We are peaceful. However, of course, I will be conquering quite a bit here. 
So rivals here. We have, of course, Sparta, Corinth, and Syracuse. So, wow. Lots of people we can choose. So, let's see. Corinthos and Sparta. Now, we need to spread out. So, Corinthos would probably be the uh, most obvious choice. And we've added a little bit of a, a little bit of a difference here. You see, there's food in this game now. Food is important, as it should be, right? Uh, food, if you don't have enough, uh, if you look at it right here, the amount of food we have right now is zero. Uh, well, that's what it starts as. If it becomes less than zero, we will suffer bad modifiers if our people and soldiers have no food. Food will be produced every summer in provinces that produce grain, fish, fruits, meats, honeys, olives, wines, and spices. They appear green on the trade good map mode. Base production and terrain will modify the amount of food produced. And then slaves. I don't... Yeah, okay, so we do indeed have slaves. I didn't expect um, Athens to have slaves, though. So if we look at trade goods, all that green, there's quite a bit of it. Now, I've always had problems with food, but no worries, because you can import food and export food if you have too much. Um, I'm just going to shut off like all of this right here. Okay, so I have not played as Greek, so what is this? Unite Hellas. Country changes to Hellas. The government uh, turns into an empire. Wow. Hellas gains a permanent claim on Hellas and Peloponnesios. Uh, reform the local army equipment. Give me my state. Oh, that's another thing. So army types. So there are citizen armies, militia armies, and tribal armies. Um, what are we right now? Are we a citizen army? Let's check. Uh, we are a citizen army, which means higher morale of armies, much higher morale of armies, lower manpower, lower force limit, but higher ab combat abilities everywhere, and also higher discipline. Um, and then we also have army recruitment, or army equipment, uh, all independent, so recruitment time and regiment cost decrease. I, may, I might change that because I believe given by the state is better. Yeah, National Manpower Modifier Increase. I kind of like that idea, having just more manpower. It kind of offsets the Citizen Army thing. It doesn't help with Land Force Limit, but, you know, either way. So we can train up to 11 people. Uh, we currently... What does our army consist of? Two, five, two, one. Might as well get some more Slingers. Now, Slingers work as artillery in this game. Uh, can we actually... What are the levels here? All the way to late Rhodian slingers or late Cretan uh, slingers. Oh, and of course, veteran phalanxes. And that thing, whatever that is. Alright, so there needs to be a debate as we are a republic or a democracy, really. So, what do we want here? Uh, national tax, Greek theater, hmm. trade reform, mercantilism, or stability. Yes, stability. I need this. Bribe with money or give political office. Yeah, let's do that. There you go. We gain a stability for that. I like it. Just for three Republican tradition, which we already gain, of course. And we're making nine gold per month, so we might as well... Ah, oh, the Morale of Armies guy. I would love to have him. Uh, admin tech cost decrease. Our admin tech's at one. We are not ahead of time or anything. Admin efficiency could go up, though. And Morale of navy Navies and Diplo reputation increase. Uh, might as well get at least level 1s at this point. Um, root out corruption. What is our corruption at? It's not that bad. So we Okay, so we are making soldiers. I'm just making sure here. Just make sure we got everything going. Uh, conquer Megara. I would love that. Megara, I meant. Alright, so who can we ally with? Um, Macedonia? Macedonia would be a good people to ally with. Who's Greek here? Alright, so that is the Greek culture group. Wow. I forgot how much Greek, like, spreads. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Thrace is huge. Byzant Byzant Byzantium right here, or Byzantion. Yeah, that's a pretty massive area. Um, for now, let's just recruit. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Without recording, this game is a snail. I'm assuming it's going to be a snail with recording. Oh, yeah, that is level 5. That is level 5 speed right there. That is 
bad. That is so slow. And I have a pretty good computer. All right. I have a pretty damn good computer. All right. So it's their fault, not mine. Athletes for the Olympic Games. Of course, we are Athens, so Olympics is a big thing. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, ships. They're also a thing. So we have, what is it, big galleys, light ships, galleys, and transports. So let's protect trade, obviously, in Hellas. Hellas is currently owned by Sparta. We, of course, have a small portion of that as well. Nope, never mind. It's owned by us now. Cool. All right, so they are allied with Ubora. Who is that? Uh, there are so many little guys. Ah, oh, they're allied with these these shitheads. God damn it. We can actually use this to our advantage. Um, you guys go up there. We can probably cut them off if we wanted to. And if we got a little bit of a larger army... What, what, what are the armies right now? So... Who has the best army? Now, Seleucids, Egypt is also huge. Thrace, Jesus Christ, they're so huge. So much larger than us. Uh, but we... Why Seleucid... Oh, never mind. Um, so we are looking for... Corinthos and Eubora. Alright, so Eubora... Where are you? Eubora has 9,000 right now. And Corinthos... Has where are you? Shouldn't they be in here? Cor Corinth. Oh no, they're K's. What the hell? I'm an idiot. Corintho seven up to nine, so they can get about eighteen. That can be pretty dangerous. Although I believe if we declare war now, oh, are they allied with anyone? Oh, and Sparta. Never mind. We're not going to call them in as co-belligerent. Um, we can also do border conquests, but I, I, I don't feel like doing that. So let's go to war now. All right, we have blockaded the area, so they can't actually cross over. So that's good for us. Really good. Let's try and find that army. Try and crush them ASAP. Come on, win. Damn it! Ooh, we did kill a lot, though. We killed quite a bit. Let's recruit one more Greek hoplite. I believe that would help. Again, they cannot cross over. We have the advantage here. Try and rebuild. Come on, get that morale back. Damn. Olympic Games. Ooh. Oh, we lost again. And we have no food. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is just great, ain't it? Let's raise some war taxes. Um, Stop trying to root out corruption. We just can't afford that right now. We're going to have to start importing food. We just do. You know? We just do. Consequences of debt slavery. So, we got more slaves. Yay for us. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I believe we need to be on the offensive here to win. Oh, come on. So close. Food imported. Great. Alright, so push them back. Come on. Oh, that was not many killed, actually. We only killed uh, Calvary, in fact. All right, we need to move back and heal up just a little bit. Fuck it, attack them now while they're still weak. Can we move it over there? Okay, yes, good. Don't beat them until the month's out. God damn it. Don't you people know strategy? Never mind, you killed them all. Cool. We've taken a 51 uh, ducat loan. That's fine with me. Let's just take them over now. So how much would it cost to eat them all? Quite a bit. Oh, whoa, okay. We cannot do that. All right, well, we're just going to take that. Oh, my God. Okay, so the diplomacy in Greece is very uh, iffy. We need to make sure we don't piss off the wrong people. All right. Oh, shit. We're at war with who now? These guys. Oh, no. Wait, where'd they pop up from? Oh, right there. Of course. We need to stop importing food. We're spending way too much money here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Great earthquake. Damn it. We should have... Ooh. A military man is a 303. Fuck that. Um, administrator, obvious, on, uh, oddly enough, has less admin power than the diplomat. Okay. And we've lost everything. You know what? We're going to reload. Just going to reload here because that was pretty bad. Again, I'm new, I'm new at this. I honestly did not expect it to be this bad, you know? Here, why don't you guys try and crush them again? Here, heal up. Um, stop importing food, goddammit. I wish, I wish you could have a choice to import food, but no, they give you no choice at all. Like, absolutely nothing. We've taken another loan. Yay, us. All right, move out. Crush the army. We're not going to make it. Oh, no, we made it. Good. All right, stay back. Um, rent Conantary. It'll one per month for another six. I like that idea. Here. Could we actually piece you out? I would love to. No, no, they won't. Great. Yo, where's that Conantary? Who who we who did we rent it from? These guys down here. Well, down south. So are they sieging? Oh, they're sieging the capital, which I don't give a shit about. Great. Right, well, kill. Wait, that's Corinth. Wait, no, yeah, right, right, right. Like, where'd they come from? Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Um, this. Why is the diplomat have horrible diplomacy yet? The military have amazing diplomacy. Not making any sense here, game. You're not making any sense here. Yeah, you better. You guys better run. Good. Crush that. Crush that. Let's run home. Try and heal up. They have to have lost. How have they not lost everything yet? Jesus Christ. Lost so much so far. Nope, there's more. Nope, Chuck Testa. How, how are there so many people in Greece, honestly? Cursed by the gods. No, we will gain religious authority, I hope. Well, what does religious authority do, really? Missionary strength increase, local unrest. No, you know what? Just lose. We don't have any religious authority anyways. Might as well. All right, move there and there. Try and siege him up. The Great Earthquake of Methone. From Macedonia. Oh, well, I don't care about Methone. That's just the thing. Corrupt General. Oh. Our General has to die. Great. Well. Get another one. Oh, amazing um, movement speed. Which also means he... Oh, no. I don't actually... Ooh, I probably don't want to siege that land up. I mean, no one's getting pissed off there, but everyone gets pissed off there. Okay. Well, um, you know what? We're just going to pull out of there and wait for you to finish up this siege. Why are you only at 70? Wait, can you not siege that? You must not be able to because they didn't have enough people. Well, that's stupid. Why would you siege it then? Um, Atolia wants to give me people. Who's Atolia? Down here? That's Argos. I have no idea who Aetolia is. You know what? Whatever. We're just going to ignore it. We're going to ignore it. Seriously, that is taking forever to siege up. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. There you go. Walls breached. That is a good sign. Right? Right? Yeah, it's a good sign. Uh, crush this army, please. Thank you. Yeah, we still have a lot of manpower left. We can only have 13, so that means we have a lot of manpower. Yeah, they're, they're, just keep, they're just throwing as much as they can at us. No matter how much. No matter how many people die, they're throwing it at us. Come on. The status quo. Stop being a status quo. We have that. That dude's amazing. A 4-4-5. Four, four, I wish... You know what? There we go. A real leader. That's a real leader, man. Uh, Cassis Bele against Rhodes. Yay, us. Supply shortage. Come on. Hey, at least we aren't low on food anymore, right? If we look at... 
food. We have 202 saved up, so we have enough food. I feel like we have enough food. I really hope we have enough food. Come on, finish up the siege. Food shortage. Of course, there's a shortage. Come on, come on. At least they're not declaring war on us now. We actually have a pretty competent army. Uh, renew war taxes. Yeah, that does help us. Come on, you have 21% chance. Ooh, 35% chance. You have to do it now. There's no other way you could do this. Oh, they're going to be so weak. Crush them. Thank you very much. Oh, 49%. Come on. You're just teasing me now. 63%. You, ugh. I mean, it's better than the alternative, but still. Come on, guys. Aristocrats. Yeah, they're a thing. Uh, we need those soldiers. No, we don't. We don't need soldiers right now. We're fine. Oh, my God. You're at 77%. You have to be able to do it now. Thank you. Oh, my God. All right, so give me all of that. No one's getting too pissed off. Give me all your money as well. And an old treaties with them. Ooh, they could become a vassal, couldn't they? Ooh, and no one would get pissed off at that. No, that's humiliate. I'm sorry. Wait, can they not become vassals? Wait. So if we did that, would everyone would get pissed off at that, wouldn't they? Yeah, never mind. Uh, an old treaties, though. Humiliate. War reparations. Goodbye. And a parade. Of course, we shall have a parade. There we go. Our first major conquest as Athens. It's fantastic. We have loans. Can we repay them? Yes, we can. Coolio. All right. Um, I've hired Conatary. Well, get rid of the Conatary. Uh, Alliance? Yeah, cancel mercenaries. We need some allies, though. Anyone want to be an, an ally? Hello? Anyone? Why not? Their opinion? Oh, it's negative. Of course it is. Why won't you? Well, you won't. Um, you won't. You won't. Oh, everyone hates me. All oh, right, aggressive expansion's the thing. Well, hopefully we don't get annihilated here, but this is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes. So, Athens has begun. We are spreading just a little bit. Um, we have many enemies, not many friends. Hopefully we can fend for ourselves. We can get a lot more army here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Alair 2, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.